So hopefully we can get a good bite out of this one to compare not only to some of my other spider bites, but to previous and future wolf spider bites as well. Uh, a lot of people think that wolf spiders are like baby tarantulas or are related to tarantulas when in actuality, uh, these are true spiders and uh, not quite as closely related to tarantulas as some people think. Oh, okay, I really felt that one. Can you see his fangs there, folks? Wolf spiders. These impressive arachnids seem to be everywhere. In fact, the family of wolf spiders, Lycosidae, ranges across the globe. They can be found in a variety of shapes and sizes in a variety of habitats. Due to the fact that there's so many of these spiders, I'm creating a little mini series where we test the bite of some of our largest native wolf spider species and see how they compare to one another. Interested? I thought you might be. In today's video, we'll be testing a spider bite from the genus Hogna to see what all their bite entails. Let's check it out. Okay, everybody, and once again, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, carrying on with our interesting and unique wolf spider test, I have another wolf spider from a different genus, and we are also going to be testing the bite of this species. So, like I said, wolf spider refers to a very, very, very large group of spiders in the family Lycosidae, and there are many, many, many of them. These are some of the most common spiders encountered not only in North America, but in a large part of the rest of the world. So hopefully we can get a good bite out of this one to compare not only to some of my other spider bites, but to previous and future wolf spider bites as well. Uh, this is a good sized spider here, as you can see from the bottle all the way over there. Um, so I'm hoping to get uh, a, a decent envenomation out of this animal and uh, we're gonna check and see uh, how this exactly ranks uh, with all the other spiders that I have tested. Once again, these are not aggressive animals. Of course, they are defensive if they feel like they're in danger, uh, but you're really not gonna be bitten by these unless you kind of pick them up, or maybe they're in your shoes or, or clothes you left on the ground and you accidentally pin them onto your skin. Uh, so these are not animals to be worried about. Uh, they're much happier to kind of scurry away, which I'm sure you may see uh, in the duration of this video, uh, than to actually bite you. Uh, so really, really cool. Well, we're going to pop this gal out, and hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get uh, a solid bite from this super cool wolf spider. Wolf spiders are impressive hunters and rely heavily on keen eyesight and powerful front limbs and fangs to locate and subdue their prey. Although unlikely to bite humans, they can defend themselves with an extremely quick bite. Okay, so this is a, actually a really pretty uh, wolf spider. Uh, some nice kind of pinkish hues to it. Uh, a little smaller than my previous wolf spider test, uh, but, you know, three, four, five times the size of even the largest brown recluse I've taken a bite from. So this is a good size spider. Uh, once again, these are true spiders. Uh, a lot of people think that wolf spiders are like baby tarantulas or are related to tarantulas when in actuality, uh, these are true spiders and uh, not quite as closely related to tarantulas as some people think. Uh, they just fill a similar niche, a similar role in their respective ecosystems by kind of wandering around, inhabiting burrows and hunting uh, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, without any further ado, I guess we're ready to uh, test the bite. Um, so I'm gonna try and uh, get this spider onto my arm and then pin it in a quick fashion with my hands as to not uh, harm the spider as best oh, I can help it. Green All right. So I wanna try and get her out onto my arm and pin her with my hands uh, so as to not uh, harm the spider in any way. So we're gonna let her kind of, see, already ready to, to flee. Let's see here. Okay, ready, Freddy? I'm ready. <laughs> get it, get a bite right on my brown widow bite. Ooh. Okay, this is the one, this is the one, folks. 
Oh, he's, is he biting me? I think he is. <laughs> oh, that was Man. a bite. Did you see it? Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Maybe it's Let just me mechanical. try it again. Yeah. Okay, I really felt that one. Can you see his fangs there, folks? <laughs> okay, definitely bit me. Ah, a few times. The piercing skin, I really can't tell. He's just like marching forward with his fangs. Maybe that's all it is. All it is. And this is thin skin up here by the wrist as well. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna see if any of that has any sort of inflammation. Yes. And we'll see. So I think I got a few bites. Um, it was a little itchy, but I don't know if that's just the hairy legs of the spider or if that's uh, any sort of venom kind of kicking in. I feel like I can maybe see a little bump where it first bit, but we'll see. I'll, I'll... If that's the bite, it's, it's almost all mechanical pain where it's just those fangs kind of pinching in. Um, my wrist feels irritated, but I'm gonna say that was the bite. Not impressed. The other wolf spider was a lot worse. Interesting. Well, stay tuned, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what this uh, what this bite does. Um, but uh, I can't imagine it's gonna be uh, very severe. But uh, there really is uh, no way of knowing. So. Interesting, interesting once again. We were able to get a bite. Uh, I, I think you'll be able to see with camera B, uh, those fangs just kind of marching their way up my, uh, my arm. And uh, I feel like there is a little bit of kind of just a light stinging sensation. Um, but just like the other wolf spider bite, I think we're just gonna see kind of some uh, inflammation and itchiness. It's really nothing to be concerned about. Um, a slight nuisance uh, from a spider that is extremely unlikely to bite you in the first place. But stay tuned. Uh, I will update and show you kind of the full effects of uh, what you can expect from uh, this type of wolf spider's bite. All right, folks, take a look here. This is the uh, Hogna wolf spider. Uh, man, it's going to be hard to kind of see on the camera, but there's these tiny little bumps uh, where the fangs went in, where I got a little pinch of that venom. Uh, really nothing at all. Um, not really any initial pain, not really any pain uh, after the fact. Uh, I think if anything, this is going to get a little pinker and have a little bit of kind of itchiness, um, but I really don't see it being uh, much more than, you know, kind of like if I got a mosquito bite or two in that kind of area, maybe even less severe than that. Uh, so not too bad, but uh, an interesting test, an interesting addition to the spider uh, bite catalog. Uh, not something I would, I would say to be worried about. So here we are in the evening. You can see all those little red bumps is where the Hogna wolf spider pierced the skin. Um, nothing much. It's not really even itchy or painful at all. It's just a bunch of little red bumps where it kind of bit through the skin. Um, I don't know that it's going to do much more than this. Of course, I will update if it does, but if not, uh, then that's it. Of course, right after I say that, all these little bumps get itchy, uh, kind of like mosquito bites. Okay, here's morning after for the Hogna. Um, 
wolf spider bite, you can see all those little red bumps. They're kind of like little mosquito bites. Um, they're kind of itchy. They're inflamed, but uh, they're not uh, they're not painful or anything. They're just it's just kind of like a little mini rash of sorts, but uh, not too bad. Here we are, day four. Um, really pretty much totally gone. You can still kind of see those faint red dots. Here we go, about six days after the uh, Hogna wolf spider bite. You can see a few little pecks, but that's just because it broke the skin there. But uh, for the most part, totally healed. So pretty solid, um, not too shabby, I hope that this was interesting to you all, but I'm gonna send you guys over to myself from the past for an outro. So, see you later, taters. Okay, folks, so by now you've seen the full effects of the Hogna genus wolf spider bite. Not too crazy, nothing uh, really exceptional, uh, but a very interesting test nonetheless. So, I'm sorry, my friends, but our time has now come to an end. So I just wanted to thank you for your view. Thanks so much for watching. Of course, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you love the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. We've got a ton of awesome new stuff coming this year. You don't want to miss a single episode. If you like what I'm wearing, this is the Jack's World Wildlife merch. This is our Red Widow design, Latrodectus bishopi. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous widow spider endemic to the state of Florida. If you like that and you like repping the logo, supporting your favorite wildlife presenter, uh, be sure to hop over to my store and get your very own t-shirt with one of our original amazing designs. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I do go through all my comments. Uh, and of course, you want to outweigh all my haters with supportive and nice comments. And I really appreciate all those comments as well. So thank you so much for watching once again. I'm happy that you've decided to spend some time with me today. I'm happy that I've, that I've been able to teach you something today. And uh, I really hope to see you next week with another upload. So take care, be safe, and I'll see you later.